petrol heads, we've just landed in Geneva, so sit down, strap in and get ready for some of the most incredible new motors on the planet. Welcome to the Geneva International Motor Show. I'm Claudia Pfeiffer and I'm on the lookout for a car that would excite a would-be girl racer like me, who is after an outstanding experience all round, not just a heavy bonnet. The show had 151 European and world debuts, but I can't be bothered with most of the production cars. We leave those to all the car magazines. I'm looking for a car that really excites me from more than just one perspective. So let's dive right into these holes of fame, smelling of rubber, glue and petrol, putting us on a high right from the off. Turning around. There's Ferrari straight away and staring at me menacingly are no less than three F8 Tributos, the most powerful V8 supercar Ferrari has ever produced. No wonder this blue baby causes such a stir. At a cool 300,000 GB pounds, or roughly 340,000 euros a pop, you get loads of techie gadgets together with four different sets of interchangeable tyres, making it the first sports car that comes with five full sets of tyres as standard, including wets, slicks, mediums and super soft. Now you know where your money goes. It's Formula One in your own street. Impressive stats. So some of you may think this to be a magnificent beast, but actually, it doesn't really excite me. Next door, of course, is Maserati. But honestly, in purple? What a turn-off! I'm walking right past it. So on my way to McLaren, look what caught my eye. Polestar is Volvo's own performance car brand, producing high-end electric motors under its own name to compete with car makers like Tesla. Not bad with 408 PS or roughly 400 bhp under its bonnet. Popping into McLaren for some eye candy, this MSO series puts yet another whopper on the road with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour making it from 0 to 100 or 0 to 60 in miles in just a staggering three seconds wow bit of a tarmac burner this ah yes don't let all this branding fool you Richard Mille is a Swiss watch brand and this is their customized 720s the Woking built 720S is a turbocharged 7 speed automatic and can be yours for just over 312,000 Canadian dollars or about 200 grand in GB pounds. Although all their technology is based on F1, I say this car is more for boys who want their toys. Now, Mike Fluitt, McLaren's CEO, dropped the teaser at this year's Geneva Motor Show about a new car model which the brand will launch upon feedback from their customers. Aha! So this Grand Tourer is going to be a more road trip friendly car than the 570 GT, combining competition levels of performance with continent crossing capability, wrapped in a beautiful lightweight body, says Fluid. Looking good, I want some! Right next door is Red Bull, of course, with its RB15 of the Aston Martin Red Bull racing team, which has been driven by Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. Scuderia Toro Rosso is Red Bull's second F1 team and this STR14 has already been raced by Daniel Kwiat and Alexander Alvin this year. Opposite these mean machines, I came across some classic beauties from yesteryear. Loved the Mercedes Roadster from 1957, but the best was this tractor by Lamborghini. I guess even Lambo had to start somewhere. Next on my list is Aston Martin, and I'm particularly keen to see one car there. The DBS Superleggera. Ooh, just saying it sends tingles down my spine. Nope, you'd have to convince me first to get into a DB11. So they got me to sit in one, which of course I can handle. This car has typical Aston Martin class written all over it. It's functional, efficient, the interior is elegant and it speaks pure power. 
A true driver's car for sure, so you can imagine it sits on the road magnificently, yet understated at the same time. German owned with British design, engineering and production. Some say uh, this car should be me on four wheels as it's the perfect combo. Only thing is, the steering wheel is on the wrong side. Oops, British joke alert. Right, now we're talking. The brand new DBS Superleggera revealed only this year has to be the ultimate supercar driving machine with 716 brake horsepower or roughly 700 PS. The F1 cars only have 35 bhp more than this daredevil. Looking at the engine, you can imagine its ridiculous capacity to thrill. Aston Martin have actually declared that they will not sell this car to just anyone. So you really need to know what you're doing to drive a car like this. Never mind the cash you'll have to put on the table. As fascinating as their ideas are for the futuristic looking concept cars, with a dashboard being projected onto the windscreen amongst other clever tech features and hyper gadgets, I just can't imagine a drive in this being enjoyable. But hey, Aston says it's creating these supercars to attract recently rich tech millionaires. So that's definitely not me then. Finally, we're at Rolls-Royce, where I want to check out the new Wraith Coupe. Walking past the Cullinan, I can see why the hunting, shooting, fishing set will go for that one. Ah, here is what I've come to see, the Rolls-Royce Wraith Coupe. Meow! Step aside, everybody, I'm coming through. I reckon this is my favourite highlight of the Geneva Car Show 2019. Top marks for a beastly, powerful engine, drop dead gorgeous interior design, luxurious comfort is a given, and the night sky just absolutely does it for me. The best is the umbrella holder. Now that's when you know you're in a British car. And I feel absolutely in charge of the steering wheel. That is amazing. That's it, decision made. I'll have uh, six of these please, one for every weekday in a different colour and I'm going to give it a rest on Sundays for which I'll go for the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera because um, there's less traffic on the road that day. Thanks for tuning in at Tada TV today. Hope you enjoyed touring this year's Geneva Motor Show with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our five and free newsletter online at the channel and on YouTube too. See you next time. Ah, there's the sales rep. Uh, hello, excuse me, can I have the keys for my new race coupe now?